When I first moved to Budapest, I was blown away how stunning the Buda castle was. And it took me years to realize how much more the first district has to offer. Let me guide you through these spots. Hi, my name is Petra, I'm a Hungarian living in Budapest and in today's video I'm starting something new. I will guide you through all of the districts of Budapest so you will know what and where to see so if you're ever visiting this beautiful city you will know what to do here. So in today's first episode we will visit together the first district of Budapest which is one of the most known districts because it is likely known for the castle district. But there's so much more that district can offer. So let's jump right into the video and get to know this place better. The first district is on the Buddha side, right in the middle next to the Danube. This district is definitely the most historic of all and also one of the calmest with its beautiful green areas. It has a population of almost 25,000 people and the area of it is only 3.9 square kilometers, which means it's one of the smallest district of Budapest but if we're talking about renting prices it is one of the most expensive ones the average rental price is over 300,000 forints and if you're planning to buy a new flat there that means you have to pay almost 3 million forints per square meter which sounds brutal to me Okay, I think that's enough of this, let's start our journey. If I can learn how to do it, I will show a map around here, maybe in front of me, about the first district and I will show you how we went from one place to another, so you can also plan your trip like this. The whole journey took like four hours maybe, so it's a perfect afternoon walk I think and you can also use public transport I will recommend you some of the lines that's just some little information before we start our walk in the first district so we started our journey right at the Elizabeth Bridge or in Hungarian Erzsébetid which is at the bottom of the Galliard Hill Our first stop is the Garden of Philosophers, which is a very popular picnic place with a very pretty view to the city. After like 10 minutes of walk, we arrived to the park, so it's not a big of a hike, but it's still really nice and it's in the green area so it's always good to just like relax in the nature. The name of it kind of anticipates what that park is all about but not completely. At the side of the park there's a complex sculpture that shows the world's greatest religious figures and they all stand around an orb. Abraham, Jesus, Buddha, Lao Tzu and Akhenaten. The intention behind it is to promote a better and mutual understanding among the world's religions. But not only these people can be found there because there's also a statue about Gandhi and Saint Francis. This place is truly special since it's quite hidden. It's very peaceful and it is truly a perfect picnic spot. Last time we were there like about two years ago maybe, it was kind of a windy but a very sunny day and a lot of children flew their kites so now you know where to do it. If you watch closely you will find the other statue that can be found here and makes this place even more special. The Prince of Buddha and the Princess of Pesht. This statue represents the unification of the two sides. I really really like this statue, it is one of my favorites here in Budapest. And next to the statue there is this little viewpoint and you will have an amazing view to the Pest side and to the Buddha castle. From here you can climb up to the citadel which is unfortunately closed due to constructions but you can still climb up almost to the top so it's still worth it because the view is spectacular. But since the citadel and the top of the Galliard Hill is not part of the first district we went back and walked along the Taban Park. It's another huge and very peaceful park of the Buddha side so it's really ideal for a relaxing walk. 
we found the ancient mulberry tree there, which is over 300 years old. It was breathtaking to see how old and ruined that tree was, but the city really tries to save and protect that tree from more harm. Our next destination is more for the kids but it is also interesting for someone who is interested in the Hungarian culture because it is the Pom Pom Playground at Naphet Square. It's a themed playground about a classic Hungarian cartoon Pom Pom and you can find the main characters and their houses at the playground which was such a cute place for me. I've never even heard about this playground before and it was, I don't know, it was just so wholesome. But if you're going there with kids, please mind that. To walk there, it's pretty steep so it can be very hard for kids but you can use the public transportation there if you hop on the bus number 178 that departures at the Dax Square. If you enjoyed what you saw so far please hit the subscribe button and let's continue. We continued our walk in a very linear route to reach our next destination which is the Buddha Castle itself. Here you have to expect a few stairs as well, or maybe a lot. But you can also get up to the castle hill with the help of some elevators and also the bus number 1616 a and 116 and those buses will bring you right into the middle of the castle district and you can also use the funicular from the Clark Adams Square but if you're there please don't miss the zero kilometer stone which is another little interesting thing to see it's from where all the routes in Hungary are measured it's just a little interesting thing to add to your trip if you're at least a bit familiar with Budapest then you know most of the attractions of the castle, the building of the National Gallery, the Széchenyi National Library or the Royal Riding Hall. We were lucky enough to bump into a wine festival in the Buda Castle so we couldn't go near to these buildings but we were there in August so now you can see those older footages I just recorded and you also get a stunning view to the Pest side where you can see the famous chain bridge and the parliament as well. Walking further you will arrive to the Totarpat promenade which is stunning in spring because of the cherry blossom but also that's the place where part of the annual festival of folk arts take place. You can also experience a beautiful view to the Buddha hills. It's really a nice place to stroll along. Parallel to the promenade is the historical city part of the Buddha castle where you can stop by if you're hungry because there are a lot of restaurants, bars and cafes but mind that, that they are probably more expensive than the ones outside of the castle district. The next stop is the Matthias church and the fisherman's bastion from where we started to walk down to continue our journey with the Batyany Square. That's actually the largest transport hub of the first district beside the daily train station. Next to this square you can find the Siladi Deju Square Reformer Church which is a true gem of the Danube Bank. The Batyany Square has a market hall with cafes and supermarkets so it's a perfect place to stop by and grab something. From here you will have the best 
view to the parliament. It's a very popular place among the tourists. You will always find someone who will sit on the wall and make the perfect Instagram picture about that view. Since the weather was not really nice, we decided not to walk along the Danube, but you should, to our next and final destination, to the Castle Garden Bazaar, or in Hungarian, the Varket Bazaar. As the name indicates, it's a very nicely made garden from where you can also climb up to the castle hill. And with that, our journey in the first district ended. If you like what you saw, please check out my coffee page where you can tip me with a price of a coffee so that I can show you more places in Budapest and all around Hungary. Every little bit helps and I'm really appreciating it. But also a like will do, so thank you. Let me know if I should add anything to this series and I'm also really curious about your favorite parts of Budapest. Let me know in the comment section down below, but until that, see you in the next one. Bye!